Yep. Hi, I'm Steve from Conductive Labs, and uh, we're here at the show to show off our new synth called the Terrain Synth. And the Terrain Synth is using a new synth technology um, called Terrain Synthesis, and it's a bit like wavetable synthesis. So in this example, I can actually show that. This is what you would normally expect from a wave table. But we sort of think about this um, table as a terrain as opposed to a, a table of waveforms. So if I change the view of the, the table, now you can sort of see this grid view. And the grid shows that it's more of a table. I'm sorry, a terrain and a table. Anyway, another thing that happens in a wavetable synth is that you've got this playhead that only plays from left to right in a line. And we have this notion of having playheads that can move in any direction. So I'll shrink this down a little bit and then we'll choose a circle. And now you can see we're playing over that terrain with a circle, not a straight line. And so we hit some notes. You can see that changes the waveform as I move that circle around the terrain. And, oops, sorry, there we go. All right, so I'm going to go to a different, there's actually four synths built into this one, so we'll go into synth this one. And this gives a slightly different sound. And this is an interesting thing because the, uh, the path is sweeping a circle over this terrain that's split. And this is the waveform that it re results on the bottom, so it basically looks like a saw, a saw wave. Now this one's also responding to aftertouch, so if I press it hard and we can get some really growly notes with the aftertouch. We can try the, uh, the, the third synth here. This is a standard PWM. So that's kind of how the path and the terrain interact. You can make all kinds of waveforms and move around on it. Um, the synth is eight note polyphonic and it's got four layers. So you saw me switch through the different layers before the A and the B and the C and the D. This side of the synth is a mixer. So I can actually change the levels for each one of these. And um, so I can change the levels for A, B, C and D. I can also do panning for A, B, C and D. And then these buttons over here is if you're building a really complex waveform with multiple layers, you can mute and solo each layer. So if you've got four of them going and you want to just uh, focus in on one of them, you could do that. Okay. So we'll switch back to, uh, let's say, this guy, um, this guy. And if I want to modulate, let's say, the position, this knob here, I can just go ahead. This is my modulation section, and I just choose LFO. And then I can just turn up the LFO and it'll start modulating. So there's no concept of a mod matrix on this synth because every parameter has an LFO and an envelope. Um, also, in addition to LFO and envelope, we've got this expressive matrix. And this is where I can bring in inputs from outside. So if I go to mod wheel, I can actually move that. Oops, let me go ahead and zero that out. I can change the position um, with my mod wheel. And if I assigned it to say after touch, I could then move it with the after touch. Yep. So we have the ability to bring in external, um, data in the back. There's six CV and gates, two expression pedals, MIDI, uh, host MIDI, um, device MIDI and five pin MIDI. So we can go down here to the terrains and select any number of terrains. So though they're not fixed, these these terrains are based on on mathematics. So when you when you tweak the terrain like this one, um, you can tweak the how like zoom and you can tweak what you know. So you get all kinds of weird stuff and all of these knobs are modulatable. Um, in addition to the terrains that are built in, um, if you go down here, these are photo terrains. So these terrains are. PNG and JPEG images that you can import as a user. And then you can make your own terrains in any graphic program you like. Um, and then finally, if we go all the way to the bottom, these are actually wavetables. So we also import WAV files. So like these were exported from Serum. We're not gonna ship with these, but as a, just as a demonstration, you can see that we can import a Serum wave, wave table. Yeah, it looked like some of those were uh... 
had discontinuities in them. And uh, mm -hmm. so like they were from complex functions. Yeah, yeah. So, so the discontinuities will basically give you a sawtooth, right? right. right? So the, 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 there's a great question because I've been explaining for the last couple of days that the pathways typically are closed loops because if you don't, if you have a line uh, pathway and the first sample and the last sample don't line up, you will get a discontinuity. Right. But if the sample is a closed loop and the last sample and the first sample are right next to each other, then they're con then they have continuity. Right. So from a path perspective, that's how you stay con continuous. But the terrains can have steps in them, absolutely, and that was on purpose so that you can get uh, sawtooth sounding. Yeah, some yep. of those look like you know complex quadratic maps. Yeah, yeah, they're they're like trigonometric the, functions. Yeah, the totally. Or the data function. Yep, things yep, like that. yep, absolutely. Um, yeah. Um, let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of fun because, um, for instance, I'll just uh, let's see if I could just yeah, uh, I think it was C that's got the yeah, perfect. Um, in addition to the this weird terrain stuff, we also have normal stuff like. We got like uh, oscillator sync. So you can do oscillator sync. And what's weird about oscillator sync on this is it's it's really how many times we're going around that path. Right, right. So that's kind of a weird thing. Um, we also have um, windowing and mirroring. So we can mirror the and then window it. We also have, uh, let's make that normal again. We also have um, phase distortion. Well, that's not going to show really well on a square wave, so let me just grab another uh, sign. Yeah, let's do that. There's kind of a complex waveform. And then if I grab the phase distortion, you can pull it over. Right. And again, uh, all these are modulatable. So if I just clicked here and added a little bit of an envelope, now I can I can get phase, phase distortion with each key press. And I can turn that up. Yep. So yeah, there's a, there's a ton of features on there. Uh, we we just released it here at the show, so this is probably the first video on it. Um, uh, Kickstarter will happen in a week or two, and so if you go to conductivelabs.com, you can sign up for our newsletter, and then you'll be notified when the Kickstarter is going to happen. To find out more about the Terrain Synth from Conductive Labs, please visit their website and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to CatSynth TV. You are watching CatSynth TV.